it. Cut it. You hear me? 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 Cut it. He cultura. 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 However you say it, that's how you say it. That went forever. I don't make the rules. I just make the rules. Because I can. I am Studio Mogura. Studio M-O-G-U-R-A. Hit me up at the PayPal. Hit me up at the Cash App. Buy my book, Full Moon Nights, available on Amazon. Also available on Barnes & Noble for the, hard, for the hardcover. It is a chronicle of the Miami rave scene in the early 2000s. It is about a rave party that actually took place here at a go-kart amusement center. All ages. Crazy. Unsupervised. Just madness. Mature audiences only. Check out my comic shop, Octo Taco, which also is my blog. A lot of great blogs going on lately. Check it out. Also check out my my main one, StudioMoguru.com, because I just put up an article there too uh, about the drum and, about the drum and bass scene back in the day. Uh, I did a I'm doing a thing called the Drum and Bass Diaries that um, it's gonna be like the chapters for my next book. That's the sequel to uh, well not my next book, but the book after that. And, and that's the sequel to Full Moon Nights. Uh, so be sure to, to check that out and read that. Also check out my uh, T Public, tpublic.com, Studio Mogra. Hit that up. A lot of people buying something. Somebody, somebody bought another thing. It was really great. I was like, oh my god. Uh, and uh, also check out my uh, uh, Spotify playlist, which has all my dis- all my tracks from my entire discography from 1999 up until uh, 2023, with my latest release, "The Reflection Blinds You from Seeing the Truth." Let us. Get into it! I'm trying to contain myself. I'm trying to keep the pain from exploding and bursting everywhere and creating a scene. I'm trying to just have a little faith in the people that we love. I want to believe that I can trust this team to come through in the end. But to tell you the truth, I don't really know. We are 20 games in this motherfucker. What do we know about these guys? We know they're above 500. We also know that they're hurt. We also know that they're hurting. One of the greatest blessings I think that's going to come for the Miami Heat out of all this is that not going into this tournament bullshit is going to give these guys time to rest. My thing is, is there an all-star break now? Is there going to be an all-star game? There has to be a dunk contest, right? We're still going to do that, right? Are we? Anybody who says that the in-season tournament, oh, it's going to be really good like for, for, for people because they're, they're going to get a lot of good training for like you know, the playoffs and all that kind of stuff, I'm like, no. No, thank you. Okay. If anything, you know what you're going to do? You're going to get tired. You're going to expend all this energy trying to get this thing. And then you're going to realize, whoa, there's like, you know, an actual season that we're in the middle of. And then when you're going to try to come back after celebrations and stuff like that, like it's to actually like to fight for the thing that matters. I, I, I don't know if these guys are really ready. I don't know if anybody's going to, whoever's going to win this thing is how it's going to affect them. So we're going we're gonna to see. We're going to see. Maybe it propels them even further and they just destroy everybody and they go undefeated from them. You never know. That's it. It's over. Just give them the ring. Fuck it. Right? That's what we're going to do? No. No. That's not what's going to do. That's not what's going to happen. The Miami Heat are hurt right now, bro. Like Tyler Hero is like, you know, his legs is broken in half. 
So give him the rest. This is going to be great for him. Again. Bam, just got hurt again. Give him the rest. Jimmy looked very sluggish today. And he's looked very sluggish as of late. I mean, he was hurt the other day. That's why he came in there, because he missed the, the Milwaukee game. So he's he needs some time. And it's like, man, we just started, bro. And you guys are like, Pedro? That's how these guys are gonna make it last, bro. That's why it's is 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 the whole this whole new thing that they're doing, which is just let's just make it into the playoffs for Christ's sake and make it healthy. That's why it's so important. So let them go through these trials and tribulations now, so that when we get to this point next year, these guys are not hurt. These guys are healthy. It's a lot riding on Hero, man. Hero better come through for us this fucking postseason because if Hero doesn't come through for us this postseason, I mean, there's going to be a lot of talk about him because he's missed a bunch of postseasons being hurt. And 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 this, this wasn't good for him. He needed to be playing. But I, I expect Hero's going to come back and he's going to really, really, really tear into it because it's just it wasn't like he got hurt on purpose. It was it's literally bullshit, you know? What are you going to do? It's just how it is. Uh, thankfully, he's a young guy and he's got, there's plenty of time for it with Hero. So... Um, but I just fear, like, if he doesn't come through in the, in the playoffs, like, people, there's going to be a lot of noise, more so than before. But I, I, he's, he's got to quell it when he comes back. As soon as he comes back, he's got to come out hot. He can't really come back and be, and you know, you'll give him a game to kind of, like, get in the groove of things, but he's got to come out of the gates. Drinking coffee, 11, 29 p.m. It's Saturday, go fuck yourself. So, um... That's what these guys need. These guys need the rest. These guys need to get healthy. Who gives a shit about this in-season tournament? That's just, nobody gives a fuck about that. That's not going to matter. It's only going to matter the people that are in it. That's it. And it's better that we're not in it. Okay? I take the rest. We're, like, still in the middle of the pack. We're still in the middle of the hunt. I mean, it's still early in the season. 20 games in. 20 games in. Quarter of the way. I don't know if it's, I mean, I didn't, I don't know what I'm going to say here. I'm trying to say something about Lowry and say something about Duncan Robinson at the same time. You know, because I didn't like that Duncan Robinson was sitting on the court and sitting on the bench, three minutes left, two minutes left, he's on the bench. Why the fuck are you benching him? For, 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 because of the defense? This wasn't a defensive game. This was a game that, you, you thought that the, the Heat, Last game was going to be the high score game, and you thought that this game they were going to clamp it down, and it was going to be a low scoring game, and it wasn't. They came out and they, they blew us out of the water. That's not a good sign. And I understand Bam wasn't playing. I understand a bunch of people weren't playing. I get it. High Smith losing High Smith was a big deal. Losing High Smith is a big deal, bro. He's a big energy guy. You know, again, I'm like, where are these where are these other players that we have? You know, I know you put in. Uh, Orlando Robinson, which was great to see, and I, I love, I, I really like Orlando Robinson. He shows a lot of promise. So, but yeah, I mean, I know we give Waquez a lot of minutes, and we have to because we don't have Hero. But man, I'm like, where's where's Jovic, bro? Like he's he should have been, uh, he should be getting minutes right now. Now it's prime time minutes for for that guy to, to get in there. But uh, we're not doing that. So I, don't, I don't know. He's he's probably lost in the G League somewhere. And I thought he played like a couple nights ago or something. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know the time. We're still trying to figure it figure it out, or and or or we did figure it out, and and we're just in the middle of this shit right now, and we're just like, wait a minute, take a breath. Remember, we used to do this first season. We used to take breaths in the first season. We used to like you know when shit was getting real and shit was getting like uh, we used to take breaths, and, we, and that's how we started the shows. We took a moment to take a breath. And then we started the show, so we didn't come in hot. We haven't been doing that. Because I feel like we don't need to anymore. We know the situation. We know what we're doing here. We know what's going on. We know how it's going to end. We know where we will lie. We know what our position, what we're meant to do. This is nice. We just want every, you know, y'all just want to win every game. I want to win every game. I want to be the bad man. I want to be number one, number one, number one, number one. It doesn't matter. Being number one right now doesn't matter. Let these other guys fight and kill each other in this stupid tournament. Go, let it. 
It's a great time to watch our opponents and watch, you know, this is a great time for the Heat to kind of go back in the drawing board and see what the hell they're going to do about the Pacers. Pacers kicked their ass. Pacers, and we see the Pacers in the playoffs. That's seven games, motherfucker. And that's not seven games. That's right right now with those two games. It's not seven games that's like, oh, we know there's a big score, and then we, we hold them down, and then there's a little... No, right now you're talking about if we face the, face, if we face the Pacers in a seven-game series, you're going to have to score 120-plus points every game. That's not us. That's not us. We don't do that shit. That is not us. We do not score 120 plus points a game. We are capable of it, but we don't do it. So if we face these guys, you better fear them more than you fear the Celtics because the Celtics, we know how to beat. Milwaukee with this guy, sure. But that's the real problem with Milwaukee. It's just this guy. And now we discovered these guys have a real legit big three right now because they have Middleton, they have uh, 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 Giannis, and then they had uh, Lillard. And we discovered that the last game because the first game we were in it, and then we were like, okay, whatever. We took off our tough scouts. But in this one, it really stood out that like Middleton at the end is going to be the, like, the, the hook that you don't see coming. And then we're just going to attribute that to, like, oh, well, we didn't have all our guys playing then and blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. I feel a lot, even with that, I feel, you, you know, because we've seen us win against Milwaukee at their best. And just come in here and just be, like, you know, shrugging it, doing that off our shoulder, and that's Milwaukee just being scraped off our shoulder because that's all they were last year to us, number one. So we feel the same way, even with Lillard. Because we've seen us beat it. But Pacers, we don't really see, like, you know, that often coming at us like uh, with that kind of firepower. That's concerning. You know, and we got to attribute it to, oh, Hero's not playing and Bam wasn't playing. Which is true. I mean, Bam in there, he, these, mother, these guys aren't scoring. They're 10 points gone from that score. 15, 10, 15, maybe even 20 points wiped away if Bam is playing. Instead of them scoring 20, we score, and then we put up a tw we put 20 in there. But that's still a close game, I think. It's still too close. And so that's why Hero's got to get in there. I'm, I'm curious to see what this guy's going to do. Is it, You know, you're going to have to play Hero and Joaquez at the same time, bro. We got to see that combo. I know Kevin Love needs minutes, but guys gotta perform, man. Guys gotta hit shots. And I've been I've been saying it for a long time, with, especially with Duncan Robinson. In the past, it was like, look, if these guys are hitting shots, sit them and go to the next guy. Where is where's Swider, man? Like we gotta we gotta get Swider some minutes. We should, prime time to get Swider some minutes, man. Hero's not playing, and what are we doing? Put Swider. I mean, like I, I said at the beginning of the season, Swider is the next. Max Struess that we have in our pocket. It wasn't Drew Smith, it's Swider. If you looked at the, if you watched the preseason and you watched Swider, how he got how he made this team, you know he's the next Max Struess. Not it's not Waquez. Waquez is like a bigger hero, which is why I want to see them both play at the same time. What hero's gonna do is gonna take Jay Rich's minutes. And I don't know what, what this what Spo's gonna do because he, you know, Spo has this thing with Jay Rich, and he wants. And I'm like, I, I get it, bro. But and and thankfully, Jay Rich has been kind of playing a little bit better, but still, it's Jay Rich. You know, I, you better make sure you give Hero his minutes, and Hero better be ending ending games, not on the bench like Duncan Robinson. Duncan Robinson didn't had no business to be on the bench at the end of this game. I don't care with three minutes left. I don't care if they're killing us with with he, he's not coming defense. I don't care. Let him fall out, but you keep him in there until. Like, I don't understand why you don't keep guys in there until they file the fuck out, bro, and use as many guys to file out as possible. Because fuck it, man. We're down 20. Just start fucking chucking it up, bro, and let's go. Disappointing. But not surprising. So it's like you can't even get upset. That's the whole fucking bullshit of it.
Am I, am I right? I mean, like, you're, you, you can't get upset at this because it's like we're still above 500. We're still better than we were last year by fucking leaps and bounds. So it's, it's just the same bullshit. We just got to get healthy and, and get people out there and get people interested. You know, and, 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 and I know we've seen flashes of Jimmy, but I, I kind of feel Jimmy's had a kind of an off season. You know, he's just been, he came into the season and he's really just like, oh God, he's really dragging. You know, so I, 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 I need to see it a little bit more consistent for him to make, be made sure that, hey, he's, he's, He's good to go, but, you know, when are you going to get that? It's already December. You know, by the time they come back from this thing, and it's Christmas, and next thing you know, it's going to be January, bro. And boom, let's go, rock and roll. Sorry, come January, it's time to rock. You know, and that's when that's when Milwaukee and, and Celtics, they really start to pull away and all that stuff, and it's going to be a battle, man, like... So I don't want to, I don't want I, to, I, I know I say... Don't worry, just it doesn't matter if they get the eight seed, who cares? Just as long as they make it. That's all they care about. I know I say that, but it's just always it's a lot easier when you're not the eight seed. You know? But then it's like these guys were like the type the way they were last year, they were the type of the team a type of team that needed needed that like they needed the knife to be right at their throats for them to care. For them to take it seriously. For they they needed to feel the danger. Like they were addicted to to feeling like that that imminent danger of being eliminated of of losing everything. Like they got addicted to that shit at the end because every series was like no no not really because Milwaukee they, they wiped it, but it still it just felt like in that beginning before they got into the playoffs before we knew like what the fuck is going on with these guys. You know, it felt like that in the in the Celtics game where it's like, yo, why are you? It's like they wanted that ultimate challenge. They wanted to go to Game Seven. And it's like, why are we doing this? Like we didn't need to be the eight seed last year, but mm, these guys just slacked at the end. So you gotta be ready for that shit. But the thing is, is I don't wanna, I don't want to slack so much that you know one game is the one that like really it it, it makes a difference. And it's like if you can't let this shit get to like one game. To make a difference, if you're in or out, you know, and it feels. I mean, the, the NBA, <clears throat> like the NFL, loves that shit, and it's gonna try its best to do that shit. Make it where it's like the last game of the season is it matters, and it's and because they don't want like it not to matter. They want you to watch. They want you to be excited. They want to make the last game of the season really exciting. So they 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 set up the schedule and all stuff like that, and you know, they know what they're doing. So that's that's my only fear. Because you can't really have any fears right now. You you, you still kind of don't know these people. We only know them twenty games in. We don't know these guys. I know we've seen them, and it's a core we've had, we've been with you know since twenty twenty. But like, but you know what I mean? Like we, we this year in particular, it's a new team. Even with the same guys, it's a whole new thing, and it's still just twenty games in. Halfway point, 40 games in, is really like, okay, now we need to know who the fuck you are. And you know what? Even then, last year, halfway in, we didn't know who these fucking guys were. Today, we've got a few things on tap. I was able to score the... Uh, I think this is Backpack Boys. Yeah, Backpack Boys Super Bubble. Super Bubble Gum. Preferred Gardens. I love this. This has really got an amazing taste to it. And a great smell. Also, they got they, they got the candy corn back. Candy corn number six back at, at the flowery. And that is amazing. It's, it's only 26%. But it's just I love the I love how it what it does. And, and then we also got um Well the candy corn. I haven't opened this fresh one. I just got an extra one because I have a little bit left. And then we got Preferred Gardens, uh, another one, a uh, peanut butter breath. This is at 30%. Indica. This one's really good. This one has, like, I think this is what I'm smoking right now, but it's like. One of these has these really crazy smell. 
it's like, oh, wow. Like, you smell that shit. And I feel... No, I don't feel bad for my neighbors. They're old. They probably love that shit. Um... So I don't know, man. I know it's been a while since I, 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 uh, I've done a show, and I apologize. Uh, I've actually missed the last couple of games, man. It's just been like, I've just been, my head's been in the cl somewhere else, you know, and I, I've just been busy with other stuff, and I've been trying to get my brain to focus more on the film and focus more on the animation, but then I'm, like, being pulled into, like, trying to pitch and trying to, uh, like, just send emails to companies to check out my shit and all this kind of stuff, and that takes hours on end and it takes hours just to prepare the stupid email and then you send the email out and you read it and you're like fuck it's just fucked up i gotta redo it and it's and it's like ah it's a pain in the ass you know and there's so much to do and so uh, it's just it's it's difficult it's really it's it's a lot it's a lot so i can't just dive into what i really want to do and, and and then getting into the animation is is a journey just like the film. Like, making a film is a fucking journey, bro. So it's like, I, I envy these kids and I envy these young people that can pick up shit and just start going and have the means to start going, but I, I really don't. Like, I luckily, I have most of it, like, cast with, and I have the script written and I have places that I know we can do it, but to get everybody out of their lives, to stop their life, to come and do it, not everybody's like that. Like, my cousin, who, I have a role for him where he's, like, this guy that's... um like a, a forest ranger guy that that's like an animal rights activist guy and he's like pissed off that they're doing something and he's so he's in this thing and, and he's gung-ho and willing to help and all and stuff like that but then like my sister who you would think my sister's like can just pick up and go and we can meet up at the house and, and the house my parents house is like a location on the, in the film like oh yeah i'll meet you right there on a sunday no no because she works on the beach and and and, and deals with like the museums and all that stuff like that and it's, she's really busy right now and blah, blah, blah. so it's like ah oh, you know there's always something, and then at the same time, we still I still don't have a female lead, and I'm like, I, I don't want to even try to film myself if I don't feel comfortable filming next to like another person, and I have to find this this person that I can just practice a couple times with, and then come out and take four days and just film all these like teens da da and get it done, and it's just it's also like the I gotta I'm. I don't know why I don't have the courage right now, like to just ah and bang it out, and I just keep reverting back to this. A lot of it is because I feel guilty that I have this animation that I'm I should have had done like a year ago, and it's not done, and it's just uh, so much work to do. And like I sit there and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna bang this shit out. And I sit there and I start working on the scene that I'm currently on right now, and I'm like, holy shit, this is a lot of work to do. Like, this is a lot. And I'm like, I really wish I had someone helping me. And then I, I stop. And I'm like, maybe I can raise funds somehow to pay for somebody. And that's when I start pitching. And that's basically all I've been doing is just pitching and pitching and pitching and pitching and pitching and trying to get someone to fund the studio, a finance or a producer, anything, that so that I can have the time. And I don't have to worry about paying for all this fucking shit so I can just focus on the art. Focus on the energy and bang that shit out. Because a lot of times I stop working on it because I'm like, it takes so much time that and I, I, I got to work on something that like, maybe I can hit faster, you know? And it's like, and that's why I can fucking pay the rent this month. And so it's just, it's aggravating because it's already December and I only have one more month left before I have to start taxes again. And I'm trying to get my father to just do other things, but like, they don't want to. Like even the mention of me, like, possibly looking for a producer for a film, someone to give us money to do something. Like, they flip the fuck out. Like, my mother flips the fuck out. Like, you have no idea. And it's just this crazy boomer thing of, like, fear. And it's a, it's a crazy boomer Hispanic thing. That it's like you have this fear of, like, failure, and you don't want to look stupid if you fail. And I'm not like that anymore, bro. I'm like, I've gotten rid of that where I'm just like, I want to... I I want to fail, I want to try at least I try the shit you know, but when like the people closest to you that you're like you love the most you know have to help you out the most like when they come out with this kind of shit, it's just poison to the like whole fucking process, and like I go and I like the whole fucking you know. Uh, the, the 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 cards you know that I, I wrote every scene in and you know David Lynch style and I've had it 
on my wall at my office. It's been there for months and I haven't even gone back to look at it because I've just been, let me try and focus on other shit then in the meantime. So I don't know, man. But luckily, my other cousin, man, he's he's such a great guy, bro. And he's he came at me with a project to like try and get me to film more, to, to get me to film, and it's like something really up my alley that's really easy that I know I can do. And we can just have a really good time doing it. Um, I'm really looking forward to that, man. So I'm I'm looking to see what we can do with that, and uh, I don't know. I I I hope that that can just kind of motivate everybody to like try and just change gears but it's tough because you know the people that i have this that i work with which is like my family and my parents and, and the business that we have together they're already at the at wit's end with it you know and but they don't want to let it go they don't want to try and change something they're like they, they they depend on it so much but then act like they don't depend on it at all and it's like the reality is is i depend on this shit a lot because like, that's just my life that's what funds everything and i've given 20 years of my life to it you know, the same at the same time that I've given, you know, forty years of life of my life to my art. You know, I gave twenty years of my life to like helping my parents do this fucking tax business, and like, I'm literally in the same place I was when I first started with them twenty years ago. And it's so embarrassing. It's fucking embarrassing. When I look around, I see my friends, I see people around me that I know that I grew up with, that they have family, that have like this, they have like a fucking house and shit, and I'm still just like helping the parents out because if I really don't, like, they'll that shit will crumble and. And they won't have any income, and it's like, what the fuck are they gonna do? And the reality is, is probably that's probably not gonna happen. They'll be just fine. But it's just like this impending doom shit, and it's only been like the last ten years where I've just been able to break away from them and, and do the fucking and do the the writing and do the film and a lot. I just hate it because a lot of times when I do this shit, it's really out of spite. It's just be like, when I ask them like, hey, you wanna help me with this? And they're like, no, you gotta not. And it's like, all right, you know what? Fuck you. I'm gonna just do it anyways. A lot of that is that. And that's what I'm going to do with the financer. Like, you know how fucking stupid it is to fucking be like, look, we have this, like, former television studio space that's not being used, that needs a lot of help, but we don't have the money to fix it up. You know how stupid it is to be like, no, to someone giving, wanting to give you money to fix up the place so we can turn it into a, profit, a profitable business? That's, like, crazy. And it's just... Like, I don't care anymore about working with a partner or bringing someone else in there. I don't fucking care. Like, what I care about is, like, can I create a business that's going to give me a fucking paycheck every fucking week or every fucking month that is, like, sustainable and is nice? It's not none of this, like, oh, my God, I'm fucking short every fucking 200, every, every fucking two weeks. Come on. It's tough, man. It's tough out there. And that's why you haven't gotten Hicultura. I know I promised I was going to do Hicultura... Every single fucking game, but shit, bro. I've missed the last two, like two or three games, because I just forget that there's going on. Because I stop, I I gotta disconnect from sports right now because the Jets are killing me. You know, and that's why I stopped being kind of a, Jet, a real hardcore Jet fan for a while. But man, they got me back because of Aaron Rodgers and all this whole shit and everything. I was looking forward to that. And then once I latched on, I latched on for all these games. So, Don't worry, we're gonna still do it with fucking this other kid. Uh, and there's moments, and oh, we almost looks like we're gonna do it, but no, and but no, 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 no. Sorry, now we're like the we're they we're dead. We're so fucking dead. We're now we're the worst. We are starting a fucking guy that has a 15 quarterback rating from fucking college. We are starting an amateur that we've basically pulled off of the fucking like the be the bleachers that he's like you know he he's never even seen the game. He doesn't even know why he's here. They just, you know, some friends just grabbed him and he just came into the country. And that's basically what we're doing. We are putting someone out there just to watch them get crushed. And it's, and it's like, why are we doing that? You might as well put the kid out there and let the kid learn because the kid's got tools. The kid has more tools than this other guy that you're going to put in there. That all he is is he's like bigger. Sure, he's bigger. But you would think someone's bigger could see the field and be a lot better. And that guy literally came in there and he's already thrown more, like, touchdowns, more interceptions than, than Zach Wilson. He only played, one, like, one game in, like, a couple series. Fuck out of here, man. Zach Wilson's problem is not Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson's problem is, like, he's got a bad offensive line and a bad offensive coordinator. He got an offensive coordinator that basically relies on Aaron Rodgers to make all the play calls. This guy relies on Aaron Rodgers to change his Bad 
please. He, he needs that. And since Zach Wilson can't change all the bad plays that this guy calls, he's got to run the plays. So he runs these bad plays, and these bad plays get killed. And then when he gets desperate, he starts thinking, and then he starts playing good. But then by then, it's too late. I don't need that. And so I'm just like, I don't want to even watch on Sunday. I don't even want to watch on Sunday. I'm like, I'm not going to watch football. I was saying my little sister, I'm not going to watch football tomorrow. No. I dropped off from my parents because she hurt herself and she had a little accident and uh, letting her stay with my mom so my mom can kind of pamper her and stuff. And I, I, I'm like, no, I'm not going to watch it tomorrow. I'll pick you up tomorrow. Well, I think I'm just going to go by over there. I'm going to wash my car. I'm going to take advantage. Finally wash the car. Get her back to looking pretty solid. But Jesus, man, like, oh, I, can't, I, I, don't, I can't bring myself to watch this game. And then, man, bless my uncle's heart, bless my godfather's heart, uh, godfather Uncle Vinny. He, uh, from New York, he's coming down, and we're going to watch the Dolphin game together. He got tickets for us to go watch Jets-Dolphins. Um... And it's just like, fuck, bro. Because like, he bought it because he thinking he was going to be Aaron Rodgers and all that shit like that. And then, like, even with Zach Wilson, you thought, okay, maybe it's still it's going to be bad, but it's not going to be, you know, horrible. But now, oh, my God, bro. It's going to be like, I'm not even going to wear my Jet stuff when I go to the game. I'm just going to go over there. I'm going to wear Miami Heat. A Miami Heat shirt. I'm going to go over there. Wearing Miami Heat stuff. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the game. I'm not going to wear a Jet jersey. I'm not going to wear a Jet hat. I'm going to wear a Miami Heat outfit. <laughs> because I'm embarrassed, dude. I don't want everybody to know. And I've been out there before, and, and I've had things thrown at me at a young age. I, I was broken and young. I went to the, to, to the games in Joe Robbie Stadium. So I've seen the shit. And because I've seen the shit, you know what? I don't want to get the shit this time around. I just want to go and... It's bad enough that this is, might be like the greatest fucking season the Dolphins have had offensively since like Dan Marino in the fucking undefeated year. Like, it's bad enough. It's bad enough that like the Jets had like a chance to be the, one of the best Jet teams they've ever had. And that shit just... It's bad enough. So I just, I just need time. I just need time, I need space, I need, like, I can't really just, I can't get into sp have thinking sports, 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 because then I want to turn on Sports Center and I want to watch the Heat Heels and all the Heat stuff and them talking Heat and everything like that. And then I see the Jet side and I know, oh, and they're talking Aaron Rodgers and stuff like this. Oh, yeah, Aaron Rodgers is going to come back. Oh, maybe I get it. And you're watching because you think maybe Aaron Rodgers is going to come back. And I was like, ah, no, he's not coming back. If that guy comes back, he's going to die. If Aaron Rodgers comes back, he's going to get. Killed, man. I mean, what is he doing? Why would he come? Why? No, if he comes back, no, there's not a good offensive line, bro. There's not a good enough offensive line to protect him. If he comes back out there, he gets sacked once. His leg's gone. Once. Can Zach, is there, do you think that Aaron Rodgers can... Quarterback for the New York Jets, the current incarnation of the New York Jets, for the rest of the season and not get sacked? Even if it's like, oh, he's almost going to get sacked and he throws the ball. Do you think even he, like, oh, he's about to get sacked and he throws the ball away. And at some point in that, do you think he's not going to get hit and thrown to the ground? Like, it's going to get close. He's going to get twisted around and thrown. And they're not going to go for his leg immediately. As soon as his first play of the game, they're not going to just blitz him, the entire goddamn fucking team on first down. I don't know what to tell you anymore about that organization. So I just would rather talk about fucking the heat. And I'm looking forward to the heat and I'm watching the heat. But then the heat do this bullshit with the fucking thing. And now it's like, we got, ugh, now we got a couple weeks off with the heat. A couple games off, whatever the fuck it is. It's like a week or something. But still, it's, too, it's a long time to go out without the heat. Well, well, well you know that they're playing and, uh, and they're watching the jet. Oh, God, no. But I'm, you know what I mean? All that said, you know what's going you know to happen. I know you know. I know you know. I'm going to watch tomorrow. I say all this, and I say, I'm like, no, I'm going to watch it. No, I'm going to watch it. And you know what? I'm going to watch tomorrow. I know it. I'm going to go to the game with my Uncle Vinny. Wear a jet shirt. Like an asshole.
like a damn fool. I just hope they allow vaping there. Because I'm going to vape my life away as I'm there. Until there's nothing left. I'm just going to take like a bunch of stuff and just pass it around to everybody. Pick up the couple gummies. And say, Here, you know, different gummies. And don't worry. It's going to be good. That's exactly how it is, being a Jeff man. What you just heard? That's how, all it is, 24-7, nonstop, every single day. Nonstop. For the rest of your life. I want to get into, like, other stuff. Like, I, I like to talk about, like, you know, the Marvel stuff and, and shows and what the fuck is going on and why is everybody a fucking asshole and all this kind of shit and blah, 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 blah. But then I don't want to make this a Marvel, a, a, a Marvel Light Assemble. I want to keep this, you know, always strictly hit cultura, and that's what we always do. So uh, maybe if, uh, hopefully, you know, uh, what we'll do is, you know what, let's pack a quickie. It's just, I'm sorry. I I, I was going to pack, I know I talked about the stuff that I was hitting, and I was going to pack a bowl, a fresh bowl, so we, you know, we go through that, as you know, to finish it off. But I'm still hitting this bowl that I fucking packed, like, literally, like, two hours before the fuck, like, at the game, during the game, still hitting this shit, and that's why... This stuff is really good. I don't know what to think. I know it feels like there are a lot more better teams, and, and I guess it is. It does feel like. There's a lot, <coughs> like the East is a little bit, but I, I don't, I don't fear any of that shit, bro. In the end, va a ser lo mismo. You know it. Va a ser the, the Celtics, va a ser nosotros. It's going to be fucking 76ers. You know, Pacers will be in there, and, that's, and then that's it. That's it. That's it. That's, it. that's, it. that's all it's going to be. That's all it's going to be. Same people. Same teams. And we're going to go through those motherfuckers. One more time. Cause it's just it's all about us in Denver. I want to see. I want to. I want to go against the Nuggets again. I want to go against the Nuggets again, and and that's why it's really important that we play. It's really important that Orlando Robinson gets some minutes and and shows up and does really well and stuff like that. Cause man, we gotta play one of those guys at the same time as Bam. We gotta. We have to. One of these guys has gotta get playing time with Bam if we're if we're gonna ever fucking beat the Denver Nuggets. If you're ever gonna be Jovi, jo, Jokic, you gotta you gotta do that. So I want to see that. I want to see that, and I've been saying it for a while now. Saying it for a while. Uh, and I could gush about the team and how we were doing previously, and that's why you know you just take a step back, whatever. Don't worry about it. This is this is what it is right now, and we just gotta. Try and get through the shit. Something that we do that we'll, we'll we'll get back on track. But uh, I just I just don't know what we're gonna, we're gonna how we're gonna end up because everyone else is kind of the same. There's oh, such a a clog at the top of everybody kind of like being the same. And so it's that when it's like that, man, it's just it's anyone's game. It's anyone's game. So it's it, it, that worries me. That does worry me. You know, because if it comes down to literally a Butler fucking three at the end, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Is he ever going to hit that? Is there ever going to be a moment? I mean, like, I just hope the, you know, I hope one day they give it to him, bro. I hope one day the basketball gods give it to Jimmy Butler that he, you know, for the fucking, he gets his last shot of the game to win everything. And he gets it. And he gets that. I, I hope he does. He deserves it. He's a good guy. He deserves it. I hope he does. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna finish it off here. Um, I know it's been a while. I will I will will try to get back on track. I promise you. We will be back here. Have some time, but it looks like the next game is gonna be Wednesday, um, December sixth. So we'll be back here Wednesday. Uh, Heat Raptors. Um, you 
Yeah, we'll, we'll be there Wednesday for Heat Raptor, after Heat Raptors. We'll be back for sure. For sure, we'll do that. Uh, unless something happens and I can't, you know how it is. Uh, but right now, I'm going to try and, and, and get a little bit back on track so we get some uploads. I know... I know the Apple Podcast thing. I don't think I've updated. Every time I upload, I go like, oh, I'm going to upload shit. And I start uploading something. Like, it takes... The, I upload the videos and it restricts the audio from the video. Uh, and it starts taking a little bit. Of, uh, and the last couple of times, it just kept on going. And I'm like... And I forgot about it. And then I fucking shut down. And I fucking three days passed before I realized, oh, shit, I never finished it. And then, you know, whatever. I'm like, okay, I'll wait till they do it. And then I never do it. So I will try to get to that how tomorrow since, you know, the heat... I mean, uh, the, during the jet game, during the fucking slaughter or whatever the fuck's going to happen. I don't even know if they're playing tomorrow. I mean, are they playing tomorrow? Who cares? Right? Does it matter? Who gives a shit? Fuck them. Um, we'll see. So, uh, so yeah. So, we'll do that and freak out everywhere, right? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Nothing else to say. You got nothing. You got something? What do you want to say? Too bad. Nobody cares. Okay. So, he cultura, he cultural, he cultura, 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 he cultura. However you say it, that's how you say it. Now and forever, I don't make the rules, I just make the rules. I am Studio Mogro, Studio M O G U R A, M O G U R A, M O G U R A. Hit me up at the PayPal, at the Cash App. Hit me up at uh, Amazon, buy my book, Full Moon Nights. Also available on Barnes & Noble for the hardcover. Support independent artists. Support independent writers. Support independent publishers. Check out my Octotaco.com comic shop. With all of my blogs. Read my blogs. Also check out StudioMogro.com. Don't forget that. Because that has a bunch of stuff. Always forget to throw StudioMogro.com out there. Also check out uh, my Tee Public, A lot of great designs. And check out my uh, uh, Spotify playlist with my entire discography dating back to 1999 up until this year, 2023, with my latest release, The Reflection Blinds You from Seeing the Truth. Okay, so we'll be back here Wednesday after Toronto. Um, you know how it is, man. Don't freak out. Just freak out. Wait, I wasn't ready. Was I ready? Am I ready? Are you ready? No, we were ready. You see, oh, we always do that. You always like think that you're ready, but you're not ready. You're never ready. You're, you always do that, and you're never ready. You're never ready, and that's why, you know, we still just got to work with this team. We still just got to, like, you know, there's still a lot of work to be done. Let's just, let's just say that, you know. You know, let's just say there's a lot of work to be done, okay? So, we'll leave it at that. So, you know how it is. Don't freak out. Just freak out. Thank you.